It's actually a relatively quick tough tonight. Um, okay, we left off at the bottom of Dalit Mabes. All right, so we had the Mishnah, as we all know, Arba of his Nazikin. Then we had the second Rab Aishia, who had 13 of us Nazikin. And then we had Rab Chia, who had 24 of us Nazikin. No, that's what we're up to. So we're up to Rab Chia, who, had 24 of us, who has 24 of us Nazikin. That's our Rab Chia, about 12 lines up from the bottom. Yeah, so Tara Rab Chia. Esrim Baharba Avas Nazikin, there are 24 Avas Nazikin. Ready for the count? Tashume Kefel, that you have to pay double. That means if somebody gets caught stealing, then he pays double. Tashume Arba Bechamisha, you have to pay four and five. Right? Meaning if a guy steals a sheep, then he has to, and he shafts it, you have to pay back four times the price it's worth, and uh, ox is five times. Right? Ganov, Gazlin, Adam Zaymimin, Oynes, right, somebody who, who rapes, Mephata, somebody who co convinces, seduces, I guess it's called, Mitzi Shemra, he says that his wife was not a basula, Metama, if he makes somebody's things tome. Metama, if he makes, puts in a mixture of truma into somebody else's chulin. So now he won't be able to eat it. Amenasech, if you take somebody's wine and you makar it over the zara. Bahani tleisar, and then the 13 that Rebchia had, ha'esim varabah, that's 24. I don't know if anybody's counting, keeping keeping count at home, but I'm I'm not either. So I got to, I got twenty five. You got twenty five? Yeah, the twelve and then the thirteen. Is that that adds up to twenty five? So well, one of these 12. is a repeat. One of these is a repeat. Lesar is what? Where you, where do you get twelve from? Well, I counted them while you're talking. All right, right. Because I had Kefal, Arba, Kame, Kamisha. Arba right. One Arba Hamish is probably one. I'm assuming. I'm assuming not. <laughs> okay, well, now's the answer to the steerer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it also has gone up over here, you know. So, so maybe gone up is extra <laughs> because that's all those cases were, were gun, uh, are gone up, aren't they? Unless it's gone up nefashos or something, a different, uh, you know. No, Ganav is was is talking about where he was mighty. So then he doesn't so, have to. So that so that so, so, so part of, he's part of the kanas. So that's what is that's Correct. like a zero. It's a zero. But so then still, why should it be in here at all? <clears throat> he's still considered a damager if he stole you stole something from somebody. I mean all that chuva he did and giving back all that millions of dollars didn't help. Meaning uh, let's say it was Yish. Let's say it was Yish. Oh, this is better yet. Not better. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's Yish. Maybe he doesn't have to give it back. But we're saying he uh -huh. does have to give it back. I'm, I'm just, just shooting that off from the hip. <laughs> uh -huh. I thought uh, Oynes and Mefata might be together. <laughs> no, Oynes and Mefata too. No, Arba and Hamish always goes together. Uh, okay, fine. I'm uh, assuming. Okay, so, okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Right. Good. <laughs> I'll, I'll mute it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, so that's 24. So now the Gemara says, Rabbi Shia, Rabbi Shia had 13. But Rabbi Shia, my time with Tani Hani. Rabbi Shia, what, did, what was his issue with saying 24? The Mamayna Kamari, but Knossel like Kamari. Because Rabbi Shia is only counting money related damage, not Knas related, right? Knas is, is 
The definition of a knas is a fine, which is that you're not paying back your initial, your initial, uh, meaning when you're paying something more than the damage that you do or less, meaning it's not equal, most of the time it's more, then that's called a knas. So we're not dealing with knasas. We're just dealing with paying back. So, I, so the Gemara says, okay, then God of a Goslin, the mind who, listen, Ghanav and Goslin, that's money. Like we just said, you have a Ghanav or a Goslin, they steal, they admit that they stole, they just pay back. Right? That's Mammon. There's no Knas there. So he says, we did, he did say it. Hakatani le Shemichin of a Shoyal. He did, that's a Shemichin of a Shoyal, meaning somebody who's watching something as a volunteer. Or somebody who borrowed something and then they deny having it or they damaged it, etc., etc. Those are that's that's a form of Geneva. So Rabbi Shia did include that in his count. Fine. So the Rabhiya Nami, Hatani Le Shamachina Vashoyal. So Taka Rabhiya learns Shamachina and Shoyal. So why does he have to put in Ghana bin Ghazlan? Right? Why are they not included? So he answers, Tani Mani Dasil Yadi Bahatera, there's two different types of monies. There's money that came to your hand, beheter, meaning when you are a voluntary watchman or you're a borrower, that money that you stole, eventually stole, came to your hand, beheter. Right? You borrowed some money from a guy. So that was that was yours, beheter. Now you went and tried to steal it. That's a different category than somebody who just went and stole it straight. Right? So, Tony, my mind is also and you also have a different set of things, which is Mammon that came to your hand, Be'isa. That's a Ghanam and a Gazan. Right? So Rabkhiya holds, Rabkhiya holds that you need to have two separate categories, categories for that. You need Shamachinam and Shayel. Then you also need Stam Ghanav and Gazan on Tomid Aleph. Okay, Edim Zaymimin, Dimamay Nahu Lisni. So then Rabbi Shia should say Edim Zaymimin. Right, that's money. I mean, if Adam Zion, Adam Zion, again, um, I mean, I imagine we know what it is, but just to make sure we have it clear. Adam Zion is shot that two Adam come and they say that um, this guy owes a thousand dollars to his friend. Comes in two other Adam and say, You couldn't possibly be there at the time of the loan because you were with us at the ball game. Oh. Excuse me. So if they get caught, so what do they have to pay? They have to pay the what they wanted to make a loss. So that's Mammon. That's not Knast. So the Gemara answers, Sava Lukar Kiva. We're on the second line down now. Hey, Amaral. Sava Lukar Kiva. The Amr ain't Mashaman Api Atzman. Kiva holds that when Adam Zayman admit that they were liars, then he holds that they don't have to pay. Right? So Mamela, when they're not liars and they have to pay, that's some sort of Knast. Right? Um, yeah, fine. So then the sending one says, Esau will let Kiva. If he's going like Rebbe Kiva, listen, he tray Gavni Shar. So then why doesn't he say that there's two types of Shar? Why? Listen, he Shar the Azik Shar, because there's uh, one ox that gores another ox, which has one set of halachas. Listen, he Shar the Azik Adam. I wanted you to learn a Shar that, that damages a person. Which is a separate set of halachas. The Tam Rebbe Kiva Aimer Af Tam Shachava Ba Adam. Rebbe Kiva has the shita that if a Tam hits a person or damages a person, Meshalim B'Moiser Nezek Shalim, he pays the leftovers Nezek Shalim. Right? This is talking about a case if you have a short Tam that gores a short mood. Right? So, and they. Why do that? Be a short. It gores a shore more, or it just gores another shore. Um, no, I don't mean I mean they gored each other, right? They fought with each other, right? But the sort of thing is, if one is a tom and one is a moor, then basically what they have to do is they have to balance out the damages, right? And whoever has the more damage has to pay, right? Um, that's if they're both moved. But if it was a tom, then and the guy and the tom did more damage, then he only has to pay half. Then the owner of the tom animal only has to pay half. All right. 
Um, that's the basic sheet. The Rebbe Kiva holds no. When the Tom, if the Tom and the Mu would get into a fight, then the Tom has to pay the entire price. That's sheet this Rebbe Kiva. Right? So if that's the case, and we're going with Rebbe Kiva here, so then why don't we, if we're talking about Rebbe Kiva and the so then why don't we say it all the way through? And then you need two types of shars in the, you need two types of others in the Zikin that are shars. Right? Um, Rebbe Kiva says that by Adam, there's no such thing as Tom, Shar Tom, when it grows a person. Correct. Correct. What did I say? Of a shor, if a shor, you said it by two shvar, go reach Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Correct. Thank you. It's not Rabbi Kiva's not saying when it's a shor that a shor tam that goes a shor mood. It's talking about when a shor tam gores a person, right? Well, they're really fighting each other. It's a person against. It's a man fighting a shor tam. That's what it is. It's a bullfight. I don't know what it is exactly. Right, so they both damage each other. So according to according to the Tanakama, I don't know the, whatever, with the, according to the basic Shita, the short Tom, if he has does more damage to the person, then he only has to pay half. But according to the Bakiva, he has to pay the full damage. Yes, thank you. Whatever it is, so how come the Mishnah doesn't say that there's two types of damaging to Shar if it's going according to Rabakiva? I don't understand the question because since when do we say that since you, you're going with Rabbi Kiva in one subject, that means you have to stick with him the entire Mishnah. Right, why? Why do you have? Where do we see that there's that you're mechuyiv to do that? Right. When one case he's going like Rabbi Kiva, and the other case is not going like Rabbi Kiva. Okay, uh, the, it could be because you, Rabbi Akiva, <coughs> Rabbi Akiva, uh, cut the down the number to twenty three, <laughs> yeah, by by taking out a item zovim. So now, now he's he's moisif with the uh, with the uh, he's moisif with the uh, short uh, the, no, the he's the, not the taking that he's he no he's the one that keeps Adam Zayim. He he holds of Adam Zayim. He's we're saying that Reb Chia, I'm sorry, Reb Aishia doesn't go with Adam Zayim. Reb Aishia is going with Reb Kiva. The Tana the Tana the Tana Reb Chia, is not going with Rabbi Kiva, right? Only with Rabbi Kiva doesn't matter. Rabbi Kiva includes doesn't Knaas. care. Rabbi Kiva is going with Kanas and Mammon, right? Uh, Rabbi oh, Shia okay. not. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, so the Gemara answers: Hotavri Rabbi Kiva Lugziza. Rabbi Kiva broke his literally means his fist. Rashi says, meaning. Even Rebbe Kiva holds that not always will a short Tom who does damage to a human pay everything. Why? The time Rebbe Kiva, I'm a Yochal Av Tom Shachav of Adam Yishalim and Aliyah. You would think that a Tom that damages a person should pay from the Aliyah, meaning what we had Aliyah two blot ago. Aliyah means that normally when somebody, when a short does damage, right? And the shor is worth a hundred dollars, so then the maximum damage you're going to pay is the worth of your shor, which is a hundred dollars. But if you have to pay me an aliyah, then they could go after your assets besides for just the uh, the shor, right? So you would think, okay, so maybe a short tam that damages a a human should pay me an aliyah, meaning go after his assets. Right? Ye oseloi, I'm sorry. That you do to it. Megufa and Mishalim, Vayna Mishalim, and Aliyah only pays from the guf and not from the asset. So, therefore, even according to the Kiva, who holds that a short time will have to pay <coughs> for full damages if it damaged a human, but those full damages are capped at the worth of the shark. So, therefore, not in all scenarios would Rabbi Kiva hold. That a short time has to pay the full damages because there's many scenarios where the short time is not going to have to pay the full damages. Fine. Then we continue. The who listening. What? Okay. So why does it Rabbaishia again? Rabbaishia is the one that has thirteen of us of us nizikin, and Rabbiya has twenty four. So how come Rabbaishia doesn't teach a rapist 
and a kind of coerces and Hamotzi Shemra. Right? So those are all mammon, because you have to pay for, for the damages. Right? So listen, how come he doesn't say it? So Manoshach, he says, either way, Inezek, Tanale. If you're going to say that it's considered damage, so we already have as Nezek, Itzar, Tanale. If it's if it's you have to pay her tsar, meaning the pain she went through for going through this ordeal, you already have that. Eat baishes, if you have to pay for her embarrassment. Tonale, we also said embarrassment. Eat pigam, and if she's worth less now on the open market because she was raped or coerced or whatever it was, that's that's nezek. So meaning whatever you're gonna whatever category you're gonna put the damages of a inus and a mafat and a shemra, it's inclusive into the other ones. So ma is So what do you want to say? There's only thing left is the knas, right? Because you have to pay 50, 50 zuz, fifty zuz, right? Okay. Uh, I thought thought the knas is loisiel al isha. So fifty I, kesef, fifty kesef. What? I do. The knas is loisiel al isha. You got to marry her. He says no. can't lo yochel the So that's a bigger knas. That's a knas for everybody. But I'm just I'm just saying that's a. No, um, the cannot. We're talking about financial, right? If you ask me, that's a big financial loss. <laughs> I know what I have to put up, uh, and it was no loss. I know, no, but that's okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right. All um, right. Muted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, um, are you calling me mute? Is that what you call me? You call me mute? He's learning. Anyway. He's learning. <laughs> Anyways, so what are you going to say? The only thing left is knas. The knas are like a Mairi. We're not talking about knas, right? Rabbi Shri says we're not referring to knas. Okay. What's the next? I'm a tamav, I'm a damav, I'm a nasaf, to a who listening. So somebody mm-hmm. makes something tummy, mixtures. If you mix in truma into somebody's fooling. If you're Manasseh wine, that's Mamayna. So why does it in Rabbi Shia learn them? Manashach, again, the same terrors. He has a chain in Nikr, Shmei has a So that's a little like Tuma. When somebody damaged, somebody makes Tuma. We had this We had this in Ksubas, I think. Right? If somebody makes, maybe getting, we had this in, if somebody makes somebody's food Tume, that's like a spiritual, let's call it that. That's a spiritual damage. Right? There's no physical damage. The guy can say, I didn't damage you anything, but I happen to be tummy, so you can't have it. Okay, so when you become tummy, you'll eat it. Meaning there's nothing visible to this damage. All the other damages is something visible. Right? You go smash a guy's birthday cake, you just damage his food. You go make his birthday cake tummy, you really didn't do anything to the food. So that's a machlaikis. If hezek damage that's not recognizable is considered a damage. Right? So the Gemara says, Manushach, he has a chain in Nikr Shmei Hezek. If you go with the opinion, that damage that's not recognizable is damage. We already that's included in Nezek. We already said it. He has a shani nikr loishme has a and if you say it's not damaged, have a lay knasa. So then why you chayiv? Then for that's a knas. The knasa like a myri. Rabbi Shia is not referring to knas. Fine. So that's why Rabbi Shia didn't list the things that Rabbiya did. Right? Now, what about what about Rabchia about about Hezek Shani Nikr Salema? Because of Rabchia, Hezek Shani Nikr Loish Me Hezek. Let's say the Rabchia must hold that damage doing damage that's not recognizable is not considered damage. The Ish Me Hezek because if it was considered damage, Atanale Nezek. It says Nezek, right? So my Mela must be Rabchia since he puts it as a separate listing. He must hold. That making make doing damage to something that's not recognizable is not considered damage. The one answer is no, there's also another difference. Tan hezek the midkara. There's such a thing as hezek that's recognizable, but tan hezek the lime midkara, meaning there's two different categories. There's a av uh, av nazikin, uh, avas nazikin of somebody who does damages that's recognizable, and you have avas nazikin of doing damages not recognizable. Fine. Now, the Gemara has a different kasha. Bishlam alatana di don tana minyon alamud de reish. Meaning, any time a Mishnah gives you accounting, so we have we have to have a reason. What was the Mishnah telling us? We could count all by ourselves, 
right? Well, hopefully we'll get it right, but we can count by all by ourselves. So why does the Mishnah have to give us a counting? Right? It's not preschool, right? It's LMI. Anytime the Mishnah gives you a counting, it's coming to exclude something, right? So, so okay, so the, our Mishnah that says Arba, so it's coming to exclude Rav Aishia. Rav Aishia is 13. Right, again, our Mishnah says four of us, Nazikin. Rav Aishia says 13, and Rav Chia says 24. So our mission, when it says four, it's telling you, go with our opinion, not Rabbi Shia's opinion of 13. And when it says, Rabbi Shia, Tanam and Yonah, Lamuti, the Rabbi Shia. Rabbi Shia says 13 in order to exclude Rabbi Shia. And Lamuti, the Rabbi Shia, Lamuti, am I? Why did Rabbi Shia have to tell you that it's 24? We could count that. So it's coming, Lamuti, Meiser, Umefagel. It's coming to exclude a Meiser. Meiser is somebody who rats out on a fellow Yid to the government. And that's going to cause the yid a loss, right? Rashi, the way Rashi says it, it's momen right? So that's a meiser, that's an iser, so that's also a damager. Somebody who's a meiser is a damager. That's not included in the rabbishia. And mafagel is somebody a koyin who shefts something without without having the right kavon. Either he shefts it that he's going to eat it after the proper time, or he's going to shecht it outside the proper. Only shefty. proper, only only proper time. What pig? Well, this well, you, yeah, pigle is only if 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 you did one of the avodas chutzles uh, mano, you had it in mind chutzles mano. Well, I think or even chutzles mano. Rashi yeah. is is um, Rashi has it a little bit different here. He says you cut shechting a chatos for a shlomim. No, that's puzzle. Yeah, okay, well, that's what we're trying to say. Because it makes no difference in this context. It's all the same thing. If you want to know about Lavin, what's a Malchus and what's not, then you're getting into Pegel versus Psal. Over here, it's the same as it. There's no difference whether you made a Psal or Pegel. <laughs> He's making it not be able to... Uh... Okay. Yeah, he needs to bring so, the car. So, so fine. So fine. They should have said Psal. <laughs> Good night. It's all inclusive, probably. It's probably all inclusive. Now, what's a miser? So it sounds like miser. Miser sounds like from Rashi that it's only your miser, the moment of your friend. Okay, so if your neighbor is doing illegal building, is that a miser? And the only way to get him to stop is to tell the government. Miser or not? Uh, <laughs> depends who you ask. Right? If somebody's doing something illegal, are you considered a miser if you tell the government? Right? Not so push it. Not so push it. Right? But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> We're not going to get stuck on Hilchus Meiser now, but it's not a simple thing. Also, especially when you have a government that officially has laws and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so anyone else says, but listen, Taka, why didn't it say Meister Mephagel? Why are you hiding Meister Mephagel behind a number? Right? Why doesn't Taka say it? That would be number 25 and number 26. So Pigo, we could say, the mission is not referring to damaging Kutchen. It's referring to the damaging people. Hello, Meister, my time in Lutani, but why doesn't it say Meister? So we're answer, Shani Meister the Dibura. Meiser is just speaking. With the Buddha, like Kamari, we're not talking about doing damage with your mouth. Right? Which is, I guess, why, well, I would say it didn't say Lashon Hara, but Lachera Lashon Hara goes under the category of Motsi Shemra, I would think. But I don't know. Oh, coming up. Right. That's coming up. Well, yeah, but it doesn't say Lashon Hara. It says, well, oh, well, Motsi Shemra. Again, the, Mish the Gemara is saying that we're not, we're dealing with physical damage, not verbal damage. Right? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never harm me. Right? That's what that's what the, we're going with. Yeah, well, Shadar is not with Chayav Mamuk. It's a Shemra, it is. Can be. You can cause major damage with Lashon Hara. I don't know if that's with Chayav Mamuk. It's a Shemra is always with Chayav Mamuk. Even if you had a case of Lashon Hara, which is, it's not a Hezek. Not okay, a hezek. we're going to start with Grummas and this and that. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Anyway, so Meiser is just speaking. So the way, Meitzi Shemra is also just speaking. The Dibura, Katani, right? All the guy did is go went into Bezdin and said that his wife was not a Basula. 
So my answer is no. Marriage is dibura de ispa. Maisi shemra is dibura de ispa maisu. That has a maisu because as part of it, he had to sleep with his wife in order to know that she wasn't a basula. Right? So that maisi shemra can only happen if there's a maisa bia. Right? So therefore it is a maisu. Oh, Adam Zayman. What about Adam Zayman? Dibura de lespe maisu. The Katani, that's a diva that doesn't have a Misa, and that's included. Awesome. I would have the less but Misa, Rahmana, Karga Misa. There, even though there's no Misa, because all they're doing is coming into Besden and lying about somebody, still the Torah calls it a Misa. When you do to him like he wanted to do to his brother. Right? Our Tana, I mean, the first Mishnah and the Mesechta that says there's Arba Avas Nazikin. So he said that there are told us also. Who are very much inclusive, right? Rabbi Aishi has 13, and, and Rabbi has has um, 24. Avas Mechlad Dika told us. So it's, and they call it Avas. It's Mashman that this told us, told the same, my knee. What are they told us? You have 24 different of us. I mean, where, what? there's no room for Taldus, right? So, No, the reason why it's saying that they're called of us, because we, like we said back, I think we said on Pidak Beis, that of us have to pay from the best. Uh, they have to pay, meaning, and we're going to have this in you know, tomorrow's after the next days, is uh, when a guy does damage, he has to pay from his best quality. Right. Let's say a guy has um, three fields. One has got junky quality. One is a medium quality, and he has a high quality. Right. So he's mechuyu to pay for the damages from his highest quality field. Obviously, he's gonna have to give less field. He doesn't have to pay more. He just has to pay the higher quality. Meaning, instead of an acre of a junky land, he'll give a half acre of a very good land. That's considered. That's even though financially it's the same thing, but it's much more appealing to to the nizik, right? So all of these things they're called avas, meaning that the damage has to be paid from from the best. My time, no? why? So asya because we learn it out because tachas nesina yishalim and kesef. There's four and all these damages that we're talking about. And Arzkol has a chart for this, right? And all these damages we're talking about. It says one of these four terminologies by the damaging, right? And all of these are affiliated with paying from the best. So therefore, that's why they're called others to tell you that you have to pay from your top from your top grade fields. Okay. So Micah Omar, what is the Mishnah saying? Now, really, what's going on here? Tosis, the bottom Tosis says, because the hare that it says here is different than the hare that it says in other places in Shas. Normally, loy hare is more towards a mako, like this one is more mako than this one. Here, it's more chama. So, Amar of Zvid, Mishmei the Rabbah, Hami Kamer, Lichtei Brachman Achada, Betesi Idach Minei. Why doesn't the Torah just say one type of damage, and I'll learn out the rest from it? So it goes and says, you cannot learn one from the other because each one has its own chumra. Right? Which we've said. Karen has its own. We'll see in Amar Beis. Karen has its own. Shane has its own. Regal has its own. Right? So each one has its own reason why maybe that's the one that's responsible for, for the payment. But something that's that's not as strict, maybe you wouldn't have to pay. Right? So let's see. Neither one of these that have a Ruach Chaim because they have a life to it, meaning the Shor and the Mabe. So, my Kaomar, again, what is the Gemara saying? So, this is what the Gemara is saying on Tomei Beis. Right? We're doing the Rashi. I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah? <laughs> For Naftali, we'll do the Rashi. Yeah, so, Lichta Rachmana Tarti. Why can't the Torah? Why can't the Torah write two types of mazikin? Right, the shor and mavet. But tasty idach minayim. Learn out between the two of them. Let's learn out all other damages. Other Omar chadamitarti loyasi. They say no. You can't learn one from the two. 
because each one of those two has its own khumra. Right? So, so that's what the basically what the mission is saying is that you can't learn out one damager from the other damager. So Marava, the Kulu, Kishad is bar in all these cases, if you would put a bar between them, Asyukulu Mahatsad, you'd be able to learn out from a Mahatsad. A tzad again, a Mahatsad is a Tzada Shava, meaning the Gemara is now saying. That really you could learn out. Right? You have four, again, the way the Mishnah says that you have four different of us Nazikin. You have Shor, Bar, Mave, Eve. So we're saying you can't learn out, even when you combine two of them, you can't learn out other damages from it. Right? So the Gemara now is saying there is. If you put Bar with some of them, then you could learn out. Right? So except for Karen. Karen is the only one that you can't combine with Bar. To learn out other damages. Why? Mishim Dikul and Mifra, because you can ask Malakulu, all these cases, all these damages, Shikain Muad and Mitchilasan, they're all moved from the Tchila, meaning the minute they do a damage, they're considered like major damages. But Karen, which we said, Karen is when a when a shar gores, when an ox gores, it's not a mood right away. It has gets three chances where it's called a tam, right? So since it has three chances where it's called a tam, it's not as chavu. Right? So therefore, because of that... Two chances. Two chances. What? Strike three, you're out. Strike three, you're out, right? So Machlech is Rav Yeah, that we're going to get to, whether it's two or... Th- whether it's three... Well, two or three chances. Right? Yeah. So anyways, so... You can't... Malakul, Shekein, Muad, and Mitchilas, and they're all Muad from the Tchila, and Karen is not. Okay, Ulamandomar Adarava Karen Adifa. And according to the one that's the other Mandoma that says Karen is stronger, why? Meaning it's it's a it's a more homer damage, Shekabanasi Lahazik, because it has intention to do damage, and the other things don't necessarily have intention. Right? Afilu Karen Namiyasi, then according to that, you could even learn out from Karen. Right? So therefore, it comes out according to that Shita. You would not need to say a separate din of damaging by all these things. You could learn it out from Karen and Bar together. Meaning between the two qualities of Karen and Bar, you would be able to learn out all other damages of Chayim. Okay, so then how come we didn't do that? Why did the Torah Taka write other halachas by all the other, um, other damages? Why couldn't it just learn out from a combination of Bar and Karen. So here we go. Now it's just like a little mini Masech the Babakama here for the next five, six lines. Right? Karen, the Chalik paint Tamil and So the reason why the Torah had to write Karen is to differentiate between a Tam and a Muad. Meaning, Tam is that Karen has that you get two strikes or three strikes. Right? And others don't. Shane Veregel, the Poitrin Berisha Saravim. Shane and Regal are part of Rosh Hashanah. We wouldn't have known that had it didn't had it not specified. Bar, what about bar? Lift up by a Kalim. A bar is only you're only chayv if you dig a bar and and an animal falls into it, but not if utensils fall into it. Again, these are all going to be based on psukim. We're going to Yehuda the mechayv on this kekalim babar, and according to Yehuda, who's mechayv on this kekalim babar, lift up by a Adam. It's going to pater a person because a person. You're not liable for a bar because he should have seen where he's going. Adam, the chayve. This we're going to do throughout the mesecta. All these things. Adam, the chayve barmet bar. A person, he's. It's telling. He needs to tell you that there's damages by a person because he's chayev on the four things: nezek, tsar, ripu. I'm not not nezek. Nez, uh, ripu, tsar, ripu, sheves, poishes. Because nezek, everybody's chayev. Eish, luftovar es atomon. Aish is your potter. This is an interesting din. Aish, your potter, if something was hiding, meaning if you went over to a guy's pile of straw and you burnt it, but under that straw was his, you know, Mickey Mantle rookie card hiding and you burnt it, so your potter, because how are you supposed to know what's going on under there? Again, these things are all not, are hard to understand, but because Levi said, why are you burning the guy's? Why are you burning the guy's straw? Well, but okay, but according to that shita, that's why you need to specify Aish. So you do the Mechayev on this Ketom and Beish. Or what about Rehudu who says you're Chayev on something hidden in Beish? Lasu Yemai. 
Asuye, on Tamar Aleph, Lichku Niroi, Besich Sacha Avonov. It's coming to include if the fire, literally Chochach means to, like the tongue, it licks his near, his plowed field, or Sich Sacha Avonim, Avonov, or it uh, uh, burnt, not burnt, but like made black. Scorched. You know, when, scorched. scorched. They scorch, yeah. He scorched the the rocks, meaning there you're not damaging. I mean, you're da- you're making it discolored, but you're not really doing damage. So that's what it's according to him. It's coming to teach that you would be chayiv for damaging in that. So that's basically because of all these little dinim. That's why the Mishnah had to say all of these all of these cases. Right. Um, just before we finish, there's a very interesting Rashi here. Because Rashi says, Ulaman da Omar, right, according to the opinion that says that Karen is more Khamur, right, so Rashi says at the last of the middle lines, Rashi says, Lo Yisparish Hecha. Rashi says, I don't know where it's where this opinion is from. Right? And then you look at the Gra, Aleph, and Gra Aleph says, What do you mean? It's on Ahmed Aleph. Right, the opinion that says that Karen is stricter is on Ahmed Aleph. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? Rashi says he doesn't know where it is. The Gros says, "What are you talking about? It's on. It's on. It's on Ahmed ago." Right. So that's a that's an interesting thing. Like you know, the Rashi is making me feel good. You know, Gros is a huge chiddush. What? The Gros is a huge chiddush. Why? Because the. If you learn the grows Pasha Pshat, that it means the same as it did on Ahmed Aleph. That is not La Fuke here. That that uh, um, what's it called? Tam uh, Rada uh, Mitzkilasim, and then and Karen as a Tam. Right. It's not arguing. Those two shitas are not arguing with each other. She came Rada Mitzkilasim and Kavanasi Lahazik. Both are true. They're not chaylik on each other. Oh, yeah, okay. So how does Kavanah Sela Hazik help? How does it say anything? Kavanah right. Sela Hazik that we had in Amad Aleph doesn't mean anything here. Correct, correct. No, I hear that. So what does the Grah mean? One of the Haggoyas, one of the Haggoyas says that he's the Grah, well, the Ra, Ra, Rashi means that there's no, there's no Beferish Hashita like that. All right, well, let me go. Let, yeah. Let's go have an early night. Okay. Tysus. I mean, the Tysus says. Yeah, Tysus is also correct. All right, we'll stop over here. Let's say to Tillam. Hey, uh, Gimel. Yeah, okay. Shim is Marlo Asaf. Elim Adam Miloch. Al Techarash. Al Tishkoit El. Kihine Yevecha Yemoyim. Kimesanecho Nosu Roish. Al Amacha Yarimu Said. Yisiyatu Al Tsunecho.